Welcome back to Elsinore. At the very end of the last episode, I think it was Bernardo made the announcement to everybody about the fact that Hamlet and Gertrude had both died. That happened during that event where Polonius would have normally died, but I managed to avoid that because I told Polonius that they should look out for Hamlet. But if Polonius doesn't die, then it looks like Hamlet and Gertrude do. The announcement's just been made, and Claudius has gone to the chapel to uh, mourn their wife, I think. So let's head there. Dead. My lord. Uh. Not now. Please, not now. Whatever it is can wait. Please. There's nothing I need. You don't seem well, my lord. No. No. I'm deeply, deeply unwell. Oh, my love. I did all of this for her. Everything. If my wife is gone, what remains of me? She came to Elsinore far too young. She was just a frightened child. Even then, I found her so striking. We... My brother and I, we always knew she was to be Hamlet's bride when all three of us were older. My father made that much clear. She was to marry him and bear him children to fill out a scant royal line. But she, I, we loved each other. Gertrude. The only person who ever deemed me worthy of love. My brother used to beat me. I'm certain no one knows it. My father forced us to duel each other as children, to train against one another. Hamlet won every time. He'd come after me later, drag me to the stables, kick me in the gut, and leave me there in a pile of hay, stinking of urine. Goethe, she found places to hide from Hamlet. Little nooks and crannies. We'd climb into the knotted hole of a tree and curl up asleep under the stars. She's the only reason I've survived until now. She had this infinite capacity to love, and to love him and me, no matter what we did, or how sad she was to be trapped in a foreign land. I always wanted to free her, to make her happy, and I never knew how. They all think my brother was a strong king, and I cannot disagree. He was more than strong. He was a brute. I tried to be a man worthy of being her husband in the short time we had together. My life's dream achieved, only to lose her like this. I'm sorry. It's clear to me how deeply you loved her, and for what it's worth. It was plain to me how happy you made her in return. It is the hope of all that they might find a love like that someday. I've tried to love other women before. Women who weren't her, but I couldn't. She was all I dreamed about. She was all I knew. No woman could hold a candle to Goethe. Now, after just three short months, Goethe's dead. Huh. You remind me of her in some ways. You have her cleverness, her curiosity, and her mercy. I have a favor to ask. It is terribly imprudent. What did you have in mind? I feel so tired, as though I could sleep for weeks. But she always sat with me when falling asleep at night. She'd lie next to me, embrace me, and wait until I dozed off before she went back to her own chambers. 
I know it is inappropriate to ask and unbecoming of a man in my position, but... Please. Would you be willing to sit with me a while? <gasps> that is quite a request. Uh, I mean, yes, I'm going to do it if for no other reason than to see what happens, but oh, this could get weird. My lord. Here, my lord, your chambers. Oh, Ophelia. Oh, God. Okay. Didn't take long for this to get super weird. You are a girl no longer. Mm-hmm. How old is Claudius exactly compared to Gertrude? I mean, neither of them look young for sure, but the way they, the way Claudius talked about seeing Gertrude come to the castle when they were too young, I think is the words they used. I feel like they were 20 and they saw Gertrude come in as like a 10 year old and that creeps me out. I've often thought to myself, uh huh, what do you think to yourself? Maybe there's a world where I could love you? Nah, dude, I'm good. Not the way I loved her, but different. Sleep now, Claudius. You're not making any sense. <sighs> he's asleep downstairs at last. Even though I know what he's capable of, what he's done, I still somehow feel terrible for him. I've seldom been in Claudius' chambers, let alone unattended. Right before I left, he mentioned he would send someone to find me later today. I wonder what for. King Claudius and Ophelia now believe that Claudius has romantic feelings for Ophelia. Learn about a future event in which Claudius requests Ophelia's presence in his chambers. Oh. Uh, another event? They're going to want me in their chambers again? Okay, so yeah, this is the first time I've ever been in their chambers. There could be some really interesting information here. Heck yeah. Secret diary. Bernardo continues to interrogate Brit. It's happening later. Mm. What, is, uh, what is this future event in which I get summoned? Am I missing it? It doesn't seem to be here. Huh. Whatever. Letter to Claudius. From who? Your hide your highness. Um from Allard the groundskeeper. Your highness. Indeed, as I am in your employ, it is my highest honor and duty to obey anything you might ask, including the neglect of your father's grave if you so wish. Still, might I ask why you desire this so strongly? Alexander was a mighty ruler in his time. Whatever horrors he might have borne you in King Hamlet, may he rest in peace, are no more. In life we are cursed to continually remember the flaws of a man. But when viewed through the mirror of death, perhaps we might look upon such a man's flaws more kindly. The Lord smiles upon forgiveness for difficult men. Nevertheless, I will continue to ensure his grave is not cleaned and no new gifts are laid there. With all fidelity, Allard the Groundskeeper. Well, I hate you now, Allard. First thing, um, I understand why Claudius hates their father. I forgot what Alexander's part was in sending Queen Astra to a sanitarium. I, I think they might be the one who did it. And of course... King Claudius just told us about how Alexander used to have uh, Claudius and their brother duel against each other, and just... Yeah, they're obviously a horrible person. 
Also, some of the things Allard said here. Hmm. Basically saying, whatever horrible things they did to you when you were children, they're no more. Forgive them, because, you know, they're dead. Nah, fuck that. Nope. This is... Claudius must have hated his father far more than I realized. Ophelia? Oh. Uh-oh. Mm. Mm. Apologies, my lord. Um, I was uh, trying to leave without waking you. I see. If you'd like to return to your chambers, you're free to go, of course. Okay, whew. Uh, I was worried. I was really worried. There's probably more in their chambers. It's very likely. Obviously, I can't go in there right now, though, right? It's locked. Yeah, I'll have to wait for Claudius to invite me in again. Okay. Okay. Do I have the key? I've already retrieved it. Is there any reason for me to go back in here? I don't know. Sure. Oh, we've already read the diary. The mirror, we've seen that. Peculiar Tales, Volume 5. I'm pretty sure we read that. Yep. Yeah, there's nothing to do here. I guess Bernardo interrogating Brit is the next thing I want to attend. Oh, wait. What? What? Who's there? It is you. Excellent. No! This shouldn't be happening. I. Boo. What the fuck? Quince? Quince? I did not intend to trouble you, lady. What are you doing out here? <laughs> Commending you for your most excellent performance. I've heard Lady Britt was apprehended for her, shall we say, aspirations. I'd like to trim the fat from this act, as it were. Cut straight to the action. Reduce the tedium. Okay, you can stop clapping now, Quince. <laughs> I find repetition plays absolutely boring. I've been known to walk out at the intermission. What are you talking about? Oh, so I think I know what they're talking about. Quince is going to cut out the repu- the reputation, what? The repetition so that we don't have to do so many of the same things again and again to make further progress. That's very nice. I really, really appreciate it when a game respects my time and I don't have to, like, just grind through things. What was once canonical can be rewritten. Take my word for it that Lady Brit will never trouble you again. Dangling plot thread is, shall we say, snipped. I look forward to seeing what tomorrow brings. It will be a refreshing change of pace for both actor and audience, I think. Farewell. Wait. Does this mean I'm free of all this? Of this repeating world? And I'll move forward with the rest of my life now? That nightmare I had, it didn't end when Hamlet killed my father. I also saw the king and queen dead. I saw my brother murder Hamlet. Does that mean that's what's coming for me? And they're all going to die? All of them? Hmm. Oh, my dear. You know, the weather's quite wonderful in Elsinore this time of year. Do try to enjoy the next day fully. One mustn't trouble oneself with the future until it has come to pass. Strange as usual. He's clearly trapped outside the flow of time, like me. But in a different sort of way more powerful. I can use him to my advantage. He seems to know more about my situation than he lets on. 
Quince now believes that Brit is a spy. Learn more about to catch a spy. Learn more about Quince. I'm not exactly sure what everything Quince just said means in practice. The dangling plot thread is now snipped. I'm now safe from Brit. Okay, what does that mean though? Next, like next loop around, is Brit going to still be a character that's even here? Are they just going to be completely gone from the story? Or are they here and I just don't need to tell anybody about the fact that they're a spy? I, like, what does it actually mean? Let's see what's been updated here. To catch a spy. By turning Lady Brit into Bernardo, I managed to stop her from killing me this loop. It seems my success might be permanent. I was surprised by a visit from Quince, who promised me Brit would never come after my life again. How he intends to accomplish this, I'm unsure, but for now, I wonder what else lies before me. I've completed so many of these things, haven't I? Good day. Please. May I have something to eat? Or water, please. <laughs> eh, I see a night in the cell has broken your silence. Yeah, torturing prisoners. Pretty fucked up, huh? I have a flagon of water here. Are you ready to talk about the letters? You'll get nothing until then. <sighs> the sketches are for Norway. Fortinbra? His men have been coming to my father's home to retrieve them. For what purpose? Mercy. Please, God, the water. No. Fortinbra. He's looking for weak points in the court. In Claudius' court. He thinks he can take the throne. My father. My father is working with him. He voted against Claudius' approval to the throne. The nobility are unhappy. Please, the water, I'm begging you, please. So Soren Brockenhus finally shows his colors. Godless bastard. Uh. I think I'll keep this water. There's some confession left in you yet. Were I you, I'd be singing like a bird when I return tomorrow. See you soon. Man, I wish I could give them some water. So fucked up. This bucket is not full of water, or maybe it is, but the wrong kind of water. <sighs> There's nothing else on the timeline. Although we know I'm supposed to be summoned again at some point. I guess maybe that's not a specific event on the timeline because we don't know when it's going to happen. It's just supposed to happen at some point. How are we looking for these different leads? Like the melancholy of Lady Brit. Yeah, this is still something I can't advance unless I don't turn in Lady Brit. Which it sounds like I won't need to anymore. So maybe I can do this on the next loop. I have to tell Laertes about Brit's situation, but not turn in Lady Brit. The Ashen Notes. Mm. Yeah, I'm not really sure what to do with that exactly. Ah, right. After one of the ladies pretended to be dead, they uh, threw us all a party for all the unimportant people in the castle, as they said. But I don't remember what happened back then, but I don't think I made it to that party, so I should try to progress that probably on the next loop I would have to. Irma's ire. Mm. For Irma's ire to continue, I think Hamlet would have to survive, so Irma could have that conversation with them. Claudius coming undone. He asked if I would stay with him as he slept, a duty his wife used to perform. I'm not sure I like where this is headed. Ought I to pursue the matter further? After all, I need only turn back the flow of time, and it'll be as though it never happened. For everyone but me, of course. And then the Playmaster.
Maybe we should go speak with Quince. Ooh, what kind of cats... What cats do we have here? Morello and Cleocatra. I guess I'll just talk about everything? I don't know. I mean, we've talked about some of these things before, right? Why is time repeating? I'm sure we've talked about that. Let's talk about the affair. I'll just kind of skim through this if anything seems interesting. <laughs> Ooh! About the affair, it sounds like precisely the sort of thing that'll get your head lopped off. Okay, please stop clapping, thank you. Do run and tell the others, won't you? It's gotten a bit dull around here. <laughs> Why is it that you know things you ought not to? I merely choose what I say carefully. We only have so much influence to spend, after all. Do not do the same, my lady. But you know things that haven't happened yet. You knew about my father dying. You warned me, in so many words. <laughs> when you've seen as much as I have, you learn to guess how plots will unfold. I could share the secret if you like. You should see some of my newest material. In this humble playwright's opinion, it has a rare novel quality, I think. Is that an invitation? I'm afraid our time here runs short. If only you had asked me earlier. So I should ask them at the beginning of a loop? Sounds like. I've been told my father might have some notes which were written by the late King Hamlet. Ah. Mysteries upon mysteries upon mysteries. I would hate to think of the stir those might raise. Of course, I might also be soggy love poems. Harmless and simple. <laughs> Who knows? They're definitely not harmless. I had a tragic nightmare. I'm sure we've talked about this before, right? Ill omen, what shall you do about it? Not certain. Brit is a spy. She's no longer a threat to you, don't you remember? Made some edits to the tale. Those bits are on the floor, snip snip. Are you going to imprison an innocent woman just to see what happens next? <laughs> if so, I must confess, I rather like your style. Wait, so... I can still get them imprisoned on the next loop, but they just won't actually be a spy in the next loop? Is that what you're saying? A ghost? What do you know about the ghost? Multitude of things. For what purpose are you eager to track down this spirit? This is what's causing Hamlet's madness, and this is what's causing him to kill my father. I see. Hmm. To track down the father, you must go through the sun. Goodbye. Once his mind has been swayed, follow it to its natural conclusion. I mean, we've already met the spirit. Quince. Queen Astrid. <laughs> Queen Astrid and Lady Simona, two peas in a pod. Though, to be quite honest, Lady is a mite of a stretch. They were both little bosom pals with their mother, if memory serves. Okay, this we've definitely heard before. Uh, my lady. Nothing more new or of interest from Quince. Let's try to stir the pot a little bit. I'm going to tell one of the ladies about the affair between Claudius and Gertrude. Uh -huh. Now I'm imagining them both naked. So thanks for that. <laughs> That's it? Okay, that didn't do much. What about you? Oh my. I didn't. But what a devastating thing that might be. Don't tell Gilda about it, or she'll never stop asking me what I think His Highness looks like in the nude. About that, I already told him. So that didn't seem to do anything. No event popped up like... Blah, 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 now believes that blah, blah, blah. Just a bit of fun, I guess. Why are you both together? There's no event listed there. Ah! Damn you, Laertes. Oh, something's happening. Something in Claudius's chambers? But what? Oh. 
I'm allowed inside? Now then. I thought it'd be locked. I just snuck in, even though Marcellus is just right outside? Okay, I won't question it. I'll take it. Between King Claudius and Polonius. So, Laertes is staying in Elsinore indefinitely, at least for the time being. What are your thoughts on the matter? Yes. At first I was concerned, but now I find something rather timely in it. Well, the mood has certainly shifted in the castle suddenly, don't you think? So much has happened in such a short time. Hmm. I see. <laughs> Polonius, do you often play chess? I must admit I haven't quite kept my tactician's instincts sharp. Fancy a match? <laughs> of course, of course. I used to be quite the thorn in your brother's side, you know. Don't think he beat me a single game in the last three years of his life. And that's after his chess tutor from Naples was through with him. Hmm. Let's test your medal then. I'll give you first move. As always, I open with a pawn to center. And so shall I. Then where from here? Where indeed? Hmm. Uh. I don't like to play sober, I'll admit. Shall I pour us a drink or two? But of course, but of course. I'm sort of concerned for Polonius' uh. life. I don't know. I just get a weird feeling. I don't know why Claudius would try to kill Polonius, but I'm just getting uncomfortable. I was just looking over at this uh, mural painted here. Is it just me? Or does this guard's feet look like hooves? Oh, I quite like this opening. And here's my knight. Mm, let me think a moment. What if the drink's poisoned or something? Now then. Mm, yeah, this is getting uncomfortable. Polonius, why did your son truly cancel his voyage? What? What do you mean? Uh, excuse me, I feel... It's a little stifling in here, isn't it? Allow me to stand a moment and catch my breath. Okay, fuck, they've just been poisoned. God damn it. Why? What... Why did Laertes truly cancel their trip? What do they think Laertes did? What do they think Laertes is responsible for? Didn't you know I'd hear of his return the minute he stepped foot on the dock? Didn't you think word would carry? The little conversation he had with that barkeep in town. How angry he seemed. How full of fire. I, I don't understand. When did this conversation happen? What barkeep? Liar. Let's drop the pretenses. I know you brought Laertes here to run me out of my own kingdom, or else run me through. You think to put him on the throne over me? I saw through your move the minute he returned. What? <laughs> Ugh. It's so hot in here, my throat is... It's tightening. Can we not go outside into the fresh air? No. No, we can't. Mm. You tried to play me for a fool. You may think me a doddering, incompetent version of my brother. But allow me to assure you, I am much more. Father. I thought I'd saved him. What a fool I am. But if I reveal myself, he'll only kill me too. <laughs> and unlike him, I'll do whatever vile thing I must in order to keep my country. What a shame it is that you should pass away in such an undignified manner. 
Polonius dies. Ophelia acquired the information, the king's poison cache. Yes, very interesting. Help! Uh, guards! Guards! To me! To me! My king? What happened? Dead. Lord Polonius collapsed during our game. He's not breathing. I, I shouldn't be here. They'll find me. Okay. Wow. Glad I went there. Um. Claudius very pointedly said I knew what they were up to the moment Laertes didn't go. So, I think I should let Laertes go in the next loop, which I think I can do and stay alive because Brit is apparently not a danger to me anymore. Although if I let that happen, then the whole melancholy of Lady Brit thing can't finish. Oops, didn't mean to click on the plants. What do I do with this information? Who would I tell? Laertes, right? Wait, wait is La yeah, Laertes is here. In this loop. Sorry, I get confused between the loops. Hmm. I think for now, though, this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're gonna tell Laertes that the king just killed our father? Maybe? Actually, sorry, I just changed my mind. If I do that, they are surely going to shatter and kill King Claudius, and then I'll probably end up dead, and... I should probably just leave this to Stu, just so I can try to live as long as possible. To gather more information, you know, because I've never gotten this far. Hmm. And apparently Laertes could still possibly surprise Brit. Interesting. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do, actually. <laughs>